kind of push hands. And over and down, left hand comes up. Steps. Turns. Turns. We just did this, the rear heel drop in, bang. And then the legs. What we're going to do is turn this over. So remember your right hip on the Goldilocks side. You can only move that so, so that it's going to go one in the right direction. Now he's going to be throwing a second leg in. And now you have from here to the left. We're creating this round and then launch a stick. Drop the heel in. That's it, lovely. What's the biggest problem you have with the inside attack? I've got that. Yeah? Fine. You might think I'm walking straight into it. I've walked right in, so it's frustrating. Yeah. My next movement is to come up. One back here. Stop. Okay. So just by having the hand, that's why it comes up. It's to frustrate the attack. If I if he's late, I just punch him straight. If I'm late and I've got to worry about defence, I'll throw that there. Knowing that my next movement, you see there, just in there, and I can always come back with a strike there. So that hand is very important. That's why not as he's attacking, I can frustrate that straight away. Yeah. So you were going to have to wait here to punch. I'm going to slip on the inside and control it. All he's going to do is push. Okay. So, one, two. That's all I want to do. One, two. Control that elbow. Once I control that elbow, I'll control his body. Even if he pulls back, I'll control it. And that's what I want. So he's pushed me. Double push. Yeah. All right, let's go. Go, go. Careful that you don't make a round movement, but just slip it. That's why the movement is the body. Yeah? Not so good for a curve. You can see even with a slight curve, I managed to deflect it. Boom. That's that. Rather than bah, coming in from the side like a curve, this is just going to con connect. Boom. And now from there. Right. Drop. Part of wave hands like clouds, which is this part. We're going to do the other part, which is that part. So if Steve pushes just with one hand, I could go there. So as he's pushing, there. push the heart, yeah, go. Yeah. Boom. That's with both hands. It's just one. Yeah. Classic. That's your movement. Pushes. Going on the inside, you control. Going on the outside, you control. Either way. So, then one. So, I can think of it initially as a, what they call wing chun, a bong sa, or I could be going to the outside. It doesn't really matter. One, two, three, four, five. So, as he pushes, I want to stay sticking to him. And the overwhelming feeling I'll get is of that sensitivity development. We're doing a totally outside version now. Or well, he's doing it outside, I'm doing it. And when you're doing both arms, it's just a bit staggered. So. It's actually, we're both doing the same thing, but with different arms. But the most important thing is to have that stickiness. As you have that stickiness happening, your hands get sensitized, your forearms. And we can both feel this contact. We're constantly, there's never any breaks. I'm either going there, converting, or I've got straight to there. Both the same. Two, one, two, one. We're starting to stick together. And the idea is to. Get to this point. The kind of push 
hands, but with cloud hands. And by the way, this is a little bit more advanced. You see, I'm sticking at any point from control. Yeah. Break from that. But, you know, this is a very um, useful, because we're getting a lot of the kinesthetic sense. You can control me up the top. 